What's up guys, welcome to the channel. I just wanted to say real quick, if you enjoy the video, if you give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And feel free to make any comments you have about opinions or questions. Hope you guys enjoy. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna do kind of an everyday carry uh, vehicle bag. So this is not gonna be a bug out bag or you know, the aliens are here or you know, World War III bag. This isn't really a survival in the wilderness bag. Um, it has a couple components that would help you with that, but it's not quite the purpose. It's really just like kind of a, a major step up to your pocket knife pistol and lighter, you know, a multi-tool. It's, it's got a little bit more to it than that. Um, definitely good just to leave in your vehicle, truck, van, whatever. Um, just just in case, you know, you never know what you might need. It might be as little as a bar because you're hungry and forgot lunch to, for whatever reason, you do need to start a fire. You need a bigger full tank knife. Um, hopefully not, but you might need your other pistol, bigger pistol, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to clarify that in case you're expecting to see everything needed to like, you know, bug out or survive on the wilderness. This does not have that. Um, if that's something that people would be interested in seeing, just let me know in the comments and I can do that soon. Um, but all right, we'll go ahead and get into it. First thing, it's just going to be a bottle of water. You never know and you might need that. Um, I can guarantee you're going to need it throughout the day. You're definitely going to need it within three days uh, in a really bad situation. So water bottle, obviously, a yes. Um, next thing is just my little clip here. Uh, and that's like an 855 pound um, test one. Like it, so it can hold a lot of weight. Be good for just hanging the bag. Or if I needed it to hold me for whatever reason, it could. Um, nice little thing to have just in case. So getting into the bag. And also, this is not the perfect bag for it. This is really a tad bit bigger than I need, but it's just sitting in my car, so it doesn't matter if it's not as minimal as possible, unlike if it was in my pocket. Um, so, whoops. All right, so I'll go ahead and do that first since it fell out. Extra magazine for the pistol. Obviously, here's the pistol. I'm gonna pick one that's a little bigger. I always keep my pistol in a holster, even if I'm not carrying it, um, but bigger pistol, more rounds. I do put, this is nine millimeter, and I do also carry nine millimeter in my concealed carry, um, just so I could use uh, the rounds for either gun if need be. Um, obviously, self-defense, I'm always gonna check that box off in pretty much anything I have, whatever I'm talking about. Um, so what else, what else do I have in the small compartment here? We have the compass, most likely not gonna need it, but you don't need a cell phone signal to use this in case you get lost, took a road trip, really, really went the wrong way, you know, fill in the blank for possibilities. But, you know, like I said, you don't need a phone service to use this, so just in case, we got an extra form of fire. Uh, I do cover shelter, fire, and water, even in this bag. Um, but like I said, it's not a survival bag. So just some heavy duty, you know, wet matches. These are just gonna light regardless and hold a really long flame. Just nice to have. And then I believe the only other thing I have in the small is just some bars. These are some bad examples of just regular bars to have. These aren't even regular bars. These have a super long shelf life. Um, I believe that's why I picked them. So I can just throw them in here and not worry about them. But yep. Yeah. That's just gonna be the front pouch, it's real simple. Like I said, the bag's a little bit bigger than I really need, but it's just what I happen to have right now and didn't feel a need to buy more. Uh, let's see. So I do have a little bit of medicine. Um, you could say that I should put this like with the med kit or whatever, um, but I just like to put it on top because this is a high possibility of use for me. Um, so I get some headaches, I have Excedrin, um, and I have some allergies, so I have Zyrtec. These are really the only two medicines that I'm gonna use. So I just have some small portions of it just in case. Um, you know, forget it for the day, don't have it for the weekend, you know, something like that. All of a sudden I have it, and that's really good. Uh, <laughs> extra toilet paper. Um, <laughs> If you don't know what I would use this for, let me know in the comments and I'll explain it to you. But I think we all know what you probably use toilet paper for. Um, you know, long trip down the highway, you know, bad situation, the next gas station's an hour away. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, you can fill in the blank there, but <laughs> um, yeah. But all right, 
But going into the main portion of the bag. All right, so just extra sources of light. Oops, kind of have, this can be hung as like a lamp type thing. Um, so one option, and then also just a headlamp. You know, if something happens to your car, it's at night. Nice to have, you know, convenient thing, plenty of sources of light. Cause I'm probably, I'm also gonna have a handheld flashlight already on me. Um, Huge lifesaver right here, a big old battery, uh, uh, solar power rechargeable, um, has, you know, every option, Android, Apple, you know, whatever. Um, it, this also has a flashlight on it, but I've never used it for that. Um, you can also plug it into other stuff. It, very nice, very helpful. I think this is a lifesaver to definitely have. Um, extra sunglasses, this is just an older Costa pair. Really love them. If, you know, really sunny out, you might forget them. Whatever the case may be, nice to have sunglasses. Sunblock, in case you're somebody who needs it. I'm not someone who really needs this. This is more for kind of the other person, you know, that may be there, whatever. Um, but, you know, sunblock. So you do decide to spend some time outside, wasn't expected. Um, uh, insect repellent, that can be a lifesaver. The bugs can be real annoying. Um, I do put one blade in here. I do kind of go big on it. This is this is obviously towards more towards the survival, but I'm probably already well, I know I'm gonna already have a pocket knife, most likely already gonna have another full tang. So if I needed something besides that, it's probably gonna be bigger. So I go ahead and just really put a bigger size in there as far as even in this bag. And this is really the same one that I would also put in a bug out or survival bag. Um, so they cross over for me at least. But and then Let's see. Do kind of have this is like borderline a med kit. Kind of got the essential. This is actually for snake and sting bites. Um, let's see. Kind of those little utensils, anything with your nails or whatever. Um, then I kind of got what do I got? Icy hot, a bunch of bandages, wraps. Um, just kind of all kind of stuff. I kind of threw that together for like a general everyday need. I think I have some more stuff in there like gloves and whatnot. Um, but so one thing I don't actually have in here is a tourniquet. That's because I actually just keep one in the center console of my car. So I'm not going to do that and have one in here. I just don't really see the need. Um, but I'm actually going to have that in the center console of my car opposed to like this in my trunk. Because if I'm going to need that, I most likely don't even want to spend the time, you know, go to the back of my car, open my trunk. Um, get the bag, unzip the bag, find the tourniquet, you know, stuff like that. I just I figure it'd be a tiny bit faster, so I just do that. Um, but yes, let's see. Let me zip this back up. And then in here, I do have a life straw, so this covers the water in the fire water, sh fire water shelter category most likely almost definitely not going to need this for like this type of bag but it weighs nothing it's just going to sit in my car then i have it you know um i got 200 feet of paracord here paracord is useful for you know a million different reasons and then i have just a pair of change of clothes here i think i have jeans underwear socks and a t-shirt um depending on the year i add a sweatshirt to it um, i don't live in a place that really gets all that cold so i don't need like winter gear year round i don't need winter gear um but and like i said this is not in a like a crazy emergency bag it's just kind of like a what in case would be really nice to have you know that type of thing um sometimes i'll add a raincoat or like i said a sweatshirt at most but and then i think the last thing i have another little zipper here and then like i showed you the paracord and the clip that was on the very top. And then I do have two emergency blankets. So I, I, I would say I barely cover the shelter category, but it's there. So yeah, that's pretty much the bag. I guess, like I said, I would call this the, let's see, I'll either call it the everyday carry um, vehicle bag, everyday carry truck bag. Um, I guess when you see the title, when you saw the title of this video, you'll know what I had decided um, when I decided to post this. Um, but yeah, that's what I would call this, you know? So let's see, go ahead and set it all up front here. Okay. 
But yeah, what do you guys think? You know, let me know in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Um, I'm always really happy to hear the comments and see what everybody thinks, what you like. Um, I don't know if you remember, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you'd be interested in seeing a true bug out bag, um, let me know. I can do that in the near future. Um, but yeah, overall, it was glad you could watch and I'll see you guys next time.